Today's episode is of Constant Martin, Mark Gordon and, unfortunately, the remains of their baby that were found on the 1st of March 2023. This is a very sad and traumatic case for a lot of people, so today we're going to go over the facts of the case as what we know so far, and also go over some information that has come to light, not yet confirmed by police, but may lead us to understand why this happened. So let's investigate. Who was Constance Martin? Well, she was born in 1987. Her parents were Napier Martin and Virginie de Sellers. She came from a wealthy heritage close to the royal family. I believe her grandmother was goddaughter to the Queen Mother, and she went to a London boarding school. She did attend Leeds University, graduating in 2012, and she left uni and started working as a researcher at Al Jazeera. She did leave there to become a freelance photographer. And in 2014, she decided on a change of career and she enrolled in a drama school in Essex to pursue acting. In 2016, though, she suddenly dropped out. Constantine's classmates reported a change in her behaviour and that she was in an erratic relationship. At this point, she also estranges herself from her family. So what changed? Well, the erratic relationship seemed to be with sex offender Mark Gordon. What do we know about him? Well, Mark Gordon is 13 years older than Constance. He was born in Birmingham, but he relocated to Florida with his family as a child. In 1990, Gordon was found guilty of kidnap and sexual battery. He was only 15 at the time. US court records show of how Gordon broke into a neighbour's home and then he sexually assaulted and raped her. He was armed with a kitchen knife as well as a pair of hedge clippers and she was held captive for around four and a half hours. After being arrested by police, Gordon admitted to the crime and he spent 20 years in prison before being deported back to the UK in 2010. So we don't know much about how Constance and Mark Gordon met and the the events leading up to the start of their relationship, but we do know now what's happened since the police were concerned about their disappearance and the safety of their child. Now, there are unconfirmed rumours that there were other children that Constance and Mark Gordon had and were taken into care. So if this is true, you can understand as a mother that she may have been fearful that this would happen again, which is why they went on the run. But the reason that has been reported for the children being taken off her originally is due to neglect. I don't know if this is true. This is a rumour. It's just trying to understand why a mother would do this. Totally removing Mark Gordon from the situation. Constance is still a mother at the end of the day. And what mother harms their child or puts them in harm's way? So I believe there is a 63 day time frame of when the baby was born up until the baby's body was found in a wooded area off Brighton on Wednesday the 1st of March. On the 5th of January, the couple's car is found on fire and abandoned on the hard shoulder on the M61 in Bolton. Now, the car was on fire, but another bit of information that has been mentioned, talked about, but hasn't been confirmed by police yet, is that there was evidence that the baby had been born in the back of the car. I don't know how police would have come to the conclusion of this with the car being on fire. I know that we are very advanced when it comes to DNA testing and stuff, but fire is a great destroyer of DNA. It may be that the car was put out in time to obtain this information, but like I say, this is also an unconfirmed report. But why would you set fire to your car on the middle of a hard shoulder on the M61? On the 6th of January, they take a taxi to Liverpool, then they travel to Harwich in Essex at 3.30am. On the 7th of January, they are spotted by a member of the public in Harwich around 9am. Later that day, they are caught on CCTV in East Ham Station between 10.30 and 12.30 and then taken a taxi to Whitechapel Road at 6.15pm. It's here Mark Gordon buys camping equipment, including a two-person tent and sleeping bags from Argos. The couple are seen walking around the area for a few hours, trying to flag down a taxi, but their attempts fail. This is likely due to the amount of stuff they had on their person. 
At around midnight, they're seen dumping the buggy near Brick Lane, East London, and they take a taxi to Harringay in North London. On the 8th of January at 1.25am, they take another taxi from Allison Road, Harringay, and they wait in New Haven Ferry Port in East Sussex, getting dropped off at 4.56am. They were seen sheltering from rain under an overpass around 6am. At 6.15am, they walk along Cantacow Hill into the fields beyond carrying a number of bags and their tent. Now it seems important to mention that all these taxi drivers have been spoken to and all of them report baby sounds coming from the back but nobody saw the baby. Um, The baby was always covered, the baby was always in like a papoose and close to Constance but the baby sounds were heard. And we also have CCTV of them pushing a buggy round and also a photo of Constance with what seems to be a baby in a papoose at the front of her chest. So at this point, we have both the Met and we also have Essex police involved in the investigation as they've been in both areas and been cited in both areas. On January the 18th, a public appeal is made for help to find the family, revealing Mark Gordon's criminal history. Constance's father also appeals for her to turn herself into police so she and her baby can be protected. We have to understand that this is an emotional time for a mother just giving birth to a baby and we don't know what's going through her head. I would argue that she should have protected herself long before to the point that she was at giving birth but we don't know the situations yet of, of how she was being controlled or even if she was being controlled. We are in the middle of January now. They are living outdoors with a newborn baby and it's freezing conditions, the child having had no medical checks since birth. Public appeals by the police continue and Constance's mother releases an open letter to her daughter. We also have what I believe is Constance's midwife appealing to her to get a baby to a doctor for medical checks. On the 28th of February, Constance Martin and Mark Gordon are arrested of gross negligence and manslaughter in Brighton. Searching begins with over 200 police officers at Rodale Valley allotments in Brighton, close to where the couple were arrested. Now, this search spans the allotment and wooded areas, and this covers 7 to 13 mile area. Finally, yesterday, the 1st of March 2023, the police make a statement. It is my very sad duty to update this afternoon. Police officers searching a wooded area close to where Constance and Mark Gordon were arrested discovered the remains of a baby. A post-mortem examination will be held in due course. A crime scene is in place and work at the location is expected to continue for some time. This is an outcome that myself and that many officers who have been part of this search had hoped would not happen. I recognise the impact this news will have on the many people who have been following the story closely and can assure them that we will do everything we possibly can to establish what has happened. Obviously, I repeat again, this is a very, very sad case for Constance's family, especially trying to get their daughter to safety, the, their grandchild. We do not know the sex of the baby as of the time of this recording, but a post-mortem will be carried out. I am concerned with the wording of the police's statement. The word remains tends not to be used when a body is found. It can be, but what has happened to this child? It's hard that we are seeing more and more cases like this of mothers, parents mistreating their children, death due to neglect. And I hope that we can understand what went on and why. I don't blame social services in this I don't blame police in this I believe everybody has done the most that they can but at this point when a mother is pregnant we cannot isolate them due to safety risks of the child till that child's born powers are out of our control we will be effectively kidnapping the mother to protect an unborn child so that is today's episode I would love to know your thoughts on this case please let me know in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe because there will be many updates, I'm sure, on this case and I will be posting them on the channel. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.